Welcome back to the lab. I'm Leo Laporte. Chris Krug is back. He is the president of uh, Bright, B R Y G H T dot com, which is a great community uh, web design site. If you want to have your own Drupal site, go to Bright. Hey, I just created a little slogan for you. Uh, he's a photographer, a fashion designer, and a Facebook aficionado. Facebook is huge in Canada. It sure is blowing up, yeah. It's, it's bigger here than anywhere, although everywhere in the world now Facebook is caught on. Um, we might, some of you are probably familiar with MySpace. I certainly know about MySpace. They're, can you describe what these sites are about? They're, they're kind of social events, right? Yeah, well, I tell people that Facebook is the most like hanging out with your friends online of anything else. You were, you, uh, we, we were backstage talking about it, and you just love it. Yeah, I've, uh, I have people from my past finding me all the time, friends from high school and university and people I meet at conferences and stuff, and it's a great way to stay in touch with people. Now, if you're used to MySpace, the first thing you're going to see when you look at Facebook is it's kind of boring looking. I mean, it, 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 there, there aren't a lot of different skins. It's, it's the way it is, right? That's right. You can't skin it at all, but I think for a lot of people, um, they, they I appreciate that. I mean, yeah. MySpace ended up turning out pretty <laughs> ugly in the end. Yeah. So. so this is clean at least, That's but right. it's but it but it all looks the same. Another um, big difference between it and MySpace is MySpace is open in that Google can find search in and spider right. and find people's profiles, but Facebook is closed. You can only see my profile if you know me and I've added you. Then that's actually a really good thing. People have gotten a lot of trouble for the kind of stuff they put on Facebook, and there's even security issues associated yeah, right. with the visibility of Facebook. So you cre it's a free account. You created it at Facebook.com. Used to be only college kids. Now it's open to everybody. Yeah, right? it started off as kind of like a digital yearbook where kids at the end of school could connect with their classmates and stuff, and you actually had to be a part of a network, so a particular school or a university, and that gave you access to it. Now anybody can join. That's right. Although you will say, I am a part of some network, right? You can indicate that you're part of a network, like I'm a part of Vancouver Network, and what right. that allows people to do is other members of the Vancouver Network can see my profile. So you're local here. Yeah, and it means that other people can see my profile without me right. explicitly giving them permission oh, if they're in the Vancouver network. See, I'm in uh, the Sonoma Napa network. Great. Right? So I only have no friends in Sonoma yeah. Napa, but I'm in the Sonoma. That's where I live, right? So, uh, and I'm Leo Laporte on Facebook. I haven't done much to it. Now, Facebook recently added a new feature that people are raving about, the ability to add these so-called applications. What are those? Well, that's right. Um, like I was saying, Facebook has traditionally been closed. So the only functions that you could do on Facebook were ones that Facebook provided to you. Right. They've recently opened up their whole user database and their API, the, the application protocol interface. So now, third-party developers like the YouTubes of the world and the Flickers of the world can write code that essentially pushes information back and forth between that site and Facebook. So I've, if you look here, sure, how this works. sure. I've uh, pulled all my Flickr photos into Facebook oh, here. And I've just done that by giving it my user account. I can also click on individual ones and then have them share back on my profile. If you see so here, on your front page, which is says Chris Kruger shared a new photo from his Flickr photo. Oh, so I've never left and gone back to Flickr, but I brought the, the photos. That mini in. feed seems to be an important part of Facebook. It's kind of what, what you've done, what your friends have done. That the mini feed is really interesting. It shows all your activity across the network. So it's, here it shows that a when friend of mine Twitter has, has tagged me in other photos. Uh -huh. Shows what groups you've joined, oh, and good. you have very granular privacy control settings over this kind of stuff. Okay. You can really dive in and tell people what what information you want to share and what you don't. Now, uh, as a public figure, I have hundreds of people wanting yeah. to be my friend. Do you recommend that you should only be friends with people you know, or how do you do? How do you handle that? I don't believe that there's a right scenario for everyone. Right. I think that in a position like yours, it'd be a great tool to use for promotion. Amber has thousands of yeah, friends. Yeah, she has thousands of friends. Her close friends, though, have asked her to open up a second Facebook account so she can just keep in touch with them on a more yeah. personal level. Yeah, so. that makes sense. Um, show us some other things we can do uh, with, with applications. I well, guess. I've added the Twitter application, so I can uh, Twitter to my or tweet to my Twitter account right here in Facebook. Oh, you do it in Facebook? You don't, even, you don't even leave... The, sh the Facebook. Yeah. You don't have to go to Twitter to do that. Oh, but it will send my data over to over to Twitter. And so. you can see the Twitter updates from your friends. Right. So there, there it is, right there. And if you want That's that. neat. Yeah. And I've also added the video application, so I can now put my videos up here on uh, Facebook as well, instead of sticking them on YouTube. That looks like Amber MacArthur right there. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we were at a <laughs> geek conference this last weekend. <laughs> I know her. So, so how do you get your videos there? You upload them to YouTube, but then they show up on Facebook? You can do both. You can upload them to YouTube and suck them directly in, or you can upload them straight to Facebook. Oh, that's neat. You'll see here on the applications page, there's hundreds of applications to choose from. Um, wow, and they're all look written at all by, these. These are just the ones I've added. I've typed Flickr into the search box here, and you'll see these are all different Flickr applications, oh, not just wow. one, but all these different folks have written different types of Flickr applications.
So this is really, the idea it sounds like is it's going to be more than just a, a, a website. It's going to be kind of a central place where all of the stuff that you do on the web shows up. Yeah, it's definitely emerged as a platform. They had a, a core group of users, you know, 20 million people within a, a, like a, a year of opening it up to the public. And once you have that type of critical mass of users, there's all sort, they opened it up and there's all sorts of other things you can layer on top. Do grown-ups use Facebook? Oh yeah, everyone's using Facebook. <laughs> I think there's, I think there's a, a Facebook group called grown-ups using Facebook that you can join if you uh, <laughs> They have, do old farts use Facebook? That's what, probably what I should know. Very interesting. F A C E B O O K dot com, uh, and uh, Chris Krug is uh, is uh, there. Uh, but I, we probably don't want to give out your Facebook ID because people can find me if they look. Just type Chris Krug in if you know me. And, right. uh, but you got to know him. Okay, no strangers. Yeah, I only add people that I've met in real life. Yeah, so. I think I'm going to do the same thing from now on. I think that was my mistake. I've got infinite friend requests right now. I don't know what to do with them all. you find out more about Chris on his uh, company site, dryght.com, a great site for a Drupal. Uh, if you want to have a Drupal site, a community site, they do great design. Just did the Grateful Dead's website. That's, That's right. very, very cool. And uh, we can find out more about uh, Facebook and Facebook applications on our website, labwithleo.com. More of your calls. Coming up in just a second. Stay right here. I have to go out and customize my Facebook now. <laughs> I think I haven't been using it right. That's why.